Yeah. Yep. Back out. You might be able to hear in the background. I'm thinking he's attacked the registration coming get him. Boosh. Wolfman. Another one. And we've got a new one, new one today, new addition to the family. Geordie Fell Wanderer. Fell Stalker. Geordie Fell Stalker. Shy, didn't want to talk. We're out just for a little uh, uh we've just gone for a ratch. There's two sets of two. Socially distanced ratch. I think so. Hey man, how about the vaccine? Oh, yeah. I just can't oh, I had vaccine two weeks ago. No, no, I really don't know what we Let's see where the spring's about. It's a winter wonderland. I'd give me left nudge to be camping in this though, wouldn't you? Oh, aye. This is definitely camping weather. Perfect. So my intrigues. You see, yeah. Uh, poor, wretched creatures. We're in the middle of absolutely nowhere here. I have no idea where we are. Till like second. <laughs> Arctic Explorers. <laughs> it is quite wild. You got the wind blowing. Go on, get in. How's that feel? How's, How's it feel? How's Chilly. Drifting? Chilly. That's a drift, isn't it? There you go. You catch me drift. That is a lot of snow there. <laughs> well, after that, we're walking up a track of terror. Icy like. But look. Spikes. Got you one. Grip you out. Even on ice. None of them have got spikes. Mine, none of them seem to be struggling, but just in case, you know. The Derwent Valley, it's windy as hell. Whew. It's good this leg, enjoying it. Oh, we're about five miles in. And uh, we've, come to, we've come to the dead centre of Gateshead. What was that? We just came through a field, through the back of a field, and then we just come out here. I've no idea where we are. Mark knows. He's done this walk a few times. Not that Mark. To the Mark. To the Mark, not me. The worst Mark. It is fresh. Lovely. I'm glad I've got these. I know, we're all kitted up like. I'm glad I've got this through the hat. And the beard's getting my chin warm. Yeah, the beard. Oh, the beard. The polar explorer beard. I need a beard for the cold. Got mine on. I'm letting it grow a bit. I've got the snow out of it. <laughs> Come the descent of death. 
Well, everybody else is down. You're the last man standing. So you should have worn the spikes. <laughs> there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> action, action Jackson. <laughs> right, so here we are in the wilds of Scotland. Look at these beasts. How do? Ah, right, son. How is that going, by the way? If that had smell of vision, we'd be getting some proper country air. Yeah, the... Look at the danglies. The dingly danglies. Oh, here it comes. Can it be a bit of bully? There's no bull in with these. It's just not enough right in front These are just the females, these. Oh. They're all horned, aren't they? Nice. Nice bit patina on it. These houses over here. What do you live in there? Oh, so here we are at the station. There's the, the bridge. It used to be a rail line. There's the old station there. It's a house that now. What a nice conversion that is. Somebody's got a canny house. But this was the railway line. You can see the platform where the trains would come. Just go all the way through, all the way along there. A lot of history here, like. A lot of history. Mint? Yes, good. Mint. So we're actually walking on the old railway line. Look how straight it is. This is a this will have been the uh, the sidings or platform whatever they're called. I want to open railways. I thought I'd go. You see we're about eight miles in now. And we've come across this old workshop, railway workshop. See the windows are still like got the frames in. You go through the arch window. I steep the history of this like old railway place. Derwent Walk, the Red Kite Trail, if anybody wants to search. I've hardly seen any people out. It's been a few, but not masses of loads of crowds and all that. I think we're the biggest blooming crowd gang. We're all keeping well apart. Oh, just chilly though. Very chilly. Aye. This is uh, Patrick Dickinson territory, this. You get a little culvert there, go up there and through, and you've got this big arch here. And then we're down near the river. We're going to come to the Butterfly Bridge, which was one of my projects, which I worked on. Was old one was washed away. He just attacked, it's horrible. Covid mask on. <laughs> Good, it's protected, stay safe. This is called the Butterfly Bridge. And this, I didn't know if one of our problems got something to do with coffee and run. He marched his uh, troops up, up through some bottle. Then he marched them down again. This was one of my projects, I uh, did the concrete, the concrete bases. They poured the concrete and then they clad it with stone to make it look old. I see here. This is the river. Lovely in the summer here. People are getting picnics all along the banks. The old wo wooden bridge, this was like an old wooden rickety bridge. In the, there was a flood, I think it was 2012 maybe. And it just washed it away. Right, that's it, Butterfly Bridge. So we're nearly back to the car now. I think we've done about 10 mile.
Right, well, we're back, back to the start point. 10 miles, apparently, going to Mr. Stoker. 10 miles. This was another one of my projects. The land of iron and oak. Gabians on this. Gabians. Gabian wood. Do you know where the signals come? The Gobbian? Up Midford way. I think Mark's uh, ready to retire like. <laughs> ah, have you enjoyed this, Alf? Score of the Antarctic. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? 10 miles. Eh? Derwent walk. 10 miles, you say? Derwent walk. Yeah. You enjoyed it? Anyway, that's it. We're off. We'll see you for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be allowed out soon. Oof. Oof. Can't wait.